my name is Elizabeth and welcome to my channel. This is a different video, but we're gonna get there soon. First go and get subscribed, give some thumbs up and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any video. As I was saying, this is a different video because I want to do an unboxing and sort of first review of something I received. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen already in the stories I made a poll. I asked you if you wanted for me to do the review, like the unboxing and the review of what I received. As the result of the poll show, you guys wanted for me to post um, unboxing and review. But let's get into this already. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you don't know. If you follow me, you already know. But I'll show you right now anyway. I got this. It's a phone stabilizer. As I said in some of my videos uh, before, I believe, my videos are made with my phone. They, in fact, this one is being made with my phone. So that means that when I'm in the street and filming, it's going to show all the shakes of my movement because my phone, when I use the highest quality on the video, doesn't stabilize the video. So now I got it. Mm. I'm gonna leave the link to this stabilizer down there in the description box as well along to all other links to the equipment I use and also my social networks so you can follow me and I post some more photos on my Instagram and in my Facebook and yeah just it's I try to post every day a photo so I have more interaction in my other social networks so yeah as you can see, it's still packed. I don't know if you can actually perceive it. It's still packed. It has the uh, plastic cover. I removed from the Amazon box, but I haven't removed from its original packaging. So let's get to it. Okay, so you can see maybe a bit better here that the plastic is still there. So I'm gonna open it. Just gonna get something a bit sharp to cut the first part of the plastic okay see you can see here that it's got the plastic oh, I'm so excited I'm opening with you guys so you can have the first look with me to this stabilizer. I'm just gonna put the plastic in a second. Comes with the packing. It comes already in a stuche. So it says um, it's a three axis handheld stabilizing gimbal for smartphone. You can have a look at how it looks at the moment in the box. It's from Hol Holren. I'm not sure how to hold him. I'm not sure how to read it. Um, is the ISTD mobile? It has visual auto tracking, portrait orientation, and time lapse, zoom control, panorama, and built in power bank. So, this is just the first box of the box. This is the carrying case. It comes in. Ah, let's open it. Okay, let me just remove it box out of our way ready ah. oh my god it's okay, so a few instructions for stabilizing it I'll follow it in a sec customer service and uh, ask for review and a user guide let's get started so what it comes in the box something for the humidity to avoid the humidity 
So it comes the gimbal. It's quite. It has a good weight, I guess. That's how it's supposed to be for stabilizing. Um, so you get this screw that makes you put it shorter. See? Larger. Shorter. Ah! Yeah. Then you have here, you can turn it. It's got a screw here, access. I guess you could put the, maybe the light or maybe a microphone, a camera, some other accessory. The control, this is a joystick, so you can move it around. The zoom to change the mode, the modes, I believe. The record button and the power button. It's got another screw here, so you can add it to a tripod. Then you have other screws around. I guess you can add more accessories to it. Yeah. Then it also comes with a mini tripod. Quite useful. So this one should go here. So then it's not too long, so you get easy access to just stabilize when you're doing, especially probably the panoramas and the time lapses. There it is. Then it comes with a power cable and the empty box. So now I'm gonna turn it on. Let's let's see what the instructions say. Uh, yeah, so I'm using it right now, and I mean I'm shaking it quite a lot. Stabilize. I'm not using the app to film this part, but. As you can see quite stabilized. I'm just gonna make the video with the app to see if any difference. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. now it's following my face. So I'm going to try to connect the mini tripod so I can. So this is. It's not following my face. My face is here. Here's my face. Nope. It's not following me. I don't know what this is doing. I don't know what this is doing. This is just getting wrong. It's not following my face. So, I had to turn it off because it got crazy, it was just moving around, so now it's following my face. Uh, then it's object tracking, I select... No. Okay, object tracking is not... Okay, no. I need to select what is going to follow, it's following my eye. good as I thought. Hey, um, this is a different day, uh, you maybe notice. When I was editing the video I realized I didn't close it, so basically I'm gonna like give you a, give you my opinion of the time I've used the stabilizer. I haven't used it too much, I haven't had the opportunity to go out and shoot for with the, with the stabilizer. 
so I cannot give you a full review but I can give you like my first opinion my first impressions okay when I use the app the quality of the video reduces a lot so you might have been able to see some pixels pixelation I don't know if that's a word on the image that doesn't occur when I use my camera app so it reduces the quality of the video I believe if I'm filming myself I will just use my own camera and not the app so that's something they could improve they could just connect with the quality of the camera of the phone the other thing I could see is it follows my face for a while but sometimes it loses the tracking so I don't know if about getting used to the face or if I just have to keep it and not move it too fast I will just keep trying it and see how it works and but the, apart from that if I'm not using the app I believe it stabilized as expected maybe if I shake it too hard you can see it but since I get it mostly for when I walk and made my videos and take you guys with me so it won't you won't be like the ups and downs when I'm walking or this climbing the stairs or this kind of moment so it will be more smooth so I could use it without the app and I will basically use the app just when I'm filming because I can control the phone from the gimbal the direction of the filming because it got the, the joystick and also for making maybe panoramas or time lapses I haven't tried it completely yet but I'm curious about it I would like to to do some time lapses and get something different to my videos so you can enjoy and make I would like to make better videos for you so yeah this is all for today I hope you like it if you did don't forget to subscribe, to give some thumbs up and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any video. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this kind of videos, if you would like me to do another review whenever I get another gadget. And let's keep done. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!